What's up? I'm Dylan Siemens from Onyx Coffee Lab and I'm the current U.S. Brewers Cup champion. Today I'm at the Fellow Playground brewing coffee with the Stag EKG electric pour over kettle using the Stag X pour over dripper. Today we're going to be brewing some Kenya Gachatha Outturn 19 roasted by Onyx Coffee Lab. So let's get into our brewing. First thing we're going to do, turn on the EKG kettle. In the back you can toggle between Fahrenheit and Celsius and I'm going to set my temperature at 200 degrees. The next thing I'm going to do is pre-wet my filter and heat up the Stag X dripper. Just pour in the center and along the walls, get everything hot. Set your kettle back on to keep heating up. And now let's set this to the side and weigh out our coffee. I'm going to weigh out 22 grams of coffee. We're going to pour 350 grams of water for a one part coffee, 16 part water ratio. Grind your coffee on a medium grind size. It should look like coarse sand. All right, before we put our coffee in the dripper, make sure to dump your preheat water. Throw the coffee into the Stag X, then shake the bed flat. That way you have an even surface to work on. Zero out your scale. And now we're ready to brew. So my first pour is going to be a bloom. And using the fluted tip, I'm going to pour it as light as possible, just touching all of the coffee, trying to saturate everything and release all of the gases from the coffee. So start your timer. The weighted handle on the Stag EKG kettle should help you really control your flow rate. And that's extremely important, especially when it comes to this brewing device. Now at 30 seconds, I'm gonna make my second pour. I'm gonna pour a little bit heavier than I do on the bloom and very slowly make four circles, moving outwards concentrically. That fourth circle will rinse all the coffee off of the filter and then I'm going to pour three circles, still moving slowly back towards the center. And then three more circles back out. This will bring my bed up to the top of the Stag X. And right now, I am just over 200 grams. On my next pour, I'm going to follow that same three circles out, three circles back in, three circles back out pattern. At a minute and 20 seconds, this pour is going to take us to 350 grams. Move slowly enough so that you can see a little bit of bubbling and agitation happening to the coffee. And with that precise pour, stop right at 350 grams. I'm done pouring by a minute 45. You definitely want to be done pouring by two minutes. So if you're still pouring after the two minute mark, go ahead and make your grind size coarser. Now we're just gonna let this coffee drip out and it should drain by 245. And now here at 230, all of the water has left the bed. My stream turns into a really slow drip. I'm good to remove the Stag X dripper. Evaluate my aroma. And then pour myself a glass. And luckily, if you still have the hold function turned on, your water is hot and you're ready to brew cups for everybody else.